Wow. Well, I've got Maka Anyamu right here. I'll be talking basketball. I don't know why she didn't partake in the, the Lagos Marathon. Maka, why? Why, why didn't you? <laughs> Um, well, actually, I have a bad knee right now, so I have to take it Is easy. Is that an excuse? No, it's the truth, okay. actually. So, not, maybe next year. Maybe oh. next year. All right, we'll see how you perform next year. Because I, I ran the marathon and I was impressed with what I did. I got a gold medal in that one as well. Well, let's talk basketball. And it's all about the Tigers of Nigeria. Yes, we've qualified for. Um, for uh, the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, we lost to Serbia and we lost to USA. But, of course, we won Mozambique and uh, the qualification was sealed when USA defeated uh, Mozambique. But then our performance against USA was something um, worth talking about. At some point, we were leading the U.S. in the first and second quarter. And uh, in all honesty, I was expecting the blowout from the USA. Mm -hmm. But it was the other way around. And I would say... The game ended 76-71, but I would still say the girls did us proud. Yeah, so um, the game's over the weekend. We're and I can quite... see your flag as well. Yeah, <laughs> see, I have the Nigerian-American flag split. I know, I don't know if the camera can get it, but, you know, I had to represent the two. Mm -hmm. um, but let's start with the Serbia game. Okay, so Nigeria, you can see the Mozambique game. They came to play. They were really into it. Mm -hmm. um, they just had a few things they need to clean up, which was their shooting percentage yeah. and taking care of the ball. So in the Serbia game over the weekend, you can see they were playing with a different tempo and a different speed. Um, it was a great game, a very close game. Mm -hmm. uh, Promise had 17 points and four rebounds, and Ezine Kalu had 20 points. But where they really dropped off was that second quarter. Um, Serbia had 22 points in that second quarter, and Nigeria only scored 12. And you can see with the ending results, 64-70, this was a really big thing for them and where I believe they lost this game. If they were better in the second quarter, definitely they would have won this game. They're closing out, also something that we'll talk a little bit more in the U.S. game, but it's something that they really need to focus on yeah. when we're looking at the Olympics coming up. It's very exciting that they actually did qualify. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, like I said, we've talked about this a few times, and I was like, yeah, they're <laughs> going to qualify, which is mm. what they did. Um, that game yesterday was so exciting. One of I the mean, best games? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look. <laughs> They were at. They were leading the U.S. at one point by 16 points. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Like I think a lot of people expected them to get blown out, especially their matchup with U.S. last year. Mm -hmm. We see they kind of struggled, um, but today, I mean, yesterday, they really came in with a different aura, and, mm -hmm. and it showed at halftime, it was 40 to 26, and I think a lot of players stepped up um, for the Nigerian team. Ezine Kalu, who also got an award for top five in mm -hmm. the tournament, had 17 points, eight assists, four steals. Um, Brittany Griner for the U.S. had 18 points. Um, Aisha had eight rebounds and you can really see if you look at their shooting and what they did yesterday they had 40 they shot 40 percent from the field which is also the same as the usa um 31 percent from the three-point line they shot better from the free throw three-point line than the usa 62 percent from the free throw line so that's something that they really need to work on mm -hmm. shooting 62 percent from the free throw line especially in very close games like this it's something that they need to clean need up. To work on, yeah. yeah, have a better shooting percentage from the free throw line. Dominated the boards, had 43 rebounds to U.S. 36 rebounds. Um, they can work on the turnovers. 23 mm. turnovers to U.S. 20 turnovers. So it's something they need to focus on: cleaning up the ball, taking care of the ball. But their yeah. defense: 13 steals to wow. U.S. five steals. So <laughs> they just had their additions, Victoria. And Elizabeth, Elizabeth plays for Louisville. Very good additions for the Nigerian mm. team. They really brought those hustle plays, defense, had some steals, and contributed points to the team. So I'm looking forward to seeing these girls play um, in, in the Olympics. Yeah. I know they have what it takes, and I believe they're going to shock the world. Now, looking at the, the performance yesterday against the U.S., we, to add a little bit of bias to this now, we know the U.S. have already qualified. Would you say it was a case of 
they arrested a couple of players and that was why we were able to match up with them a little. Mm. I'm just saying a little bit of bias. <laughs> Let's don't don't not break say my head that. yet. If you look at the game, they yeah, played their best. Definitely. They I agree. definitely I Neko was out there, Brittany was out there, Sue Bird was out there. Mm. They played their best. It's just that Nigeria took it to them and mm -hmm. they, they had a different I think they had a different aura to them when they were playing mm. and you could see that and they were hungry. True. And and I think Nigeria has a lot to prove them believing that they should have already qualified for the tournament and mm -hmm. having to be in this qualification tournament, I think for them it said something. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to show the world that, listen, we didn't qualify by fluke. We True. are good enough to be mm -hmm. in this tournament. Very